Hey everyone, this is Nick Martin here at the American Steam Railroad, here for your April 2025 update on the American Freedom Train number 250. As you saw last month, we hit a major, major milestone in steam testing the locomotive. But that doesn't mean our work is done, so let's take a look at the progress that we've made in the past few weeks. The first bit of progress you can already see behind me here is that we've removed the locomotive's cab. The reason that we did this is because during the steam test there were a few stables that showed some problems that didn't appear during the hydrostatic tests. They're all located on the back head behind the rear wall of fire brick, and we believe those stables to be made of wrought iron, which means they've gone through multiple thermal cyclings and stresses over the years. So out of an abundance of caution, we've decided to go ahead and replace the bottom four rows of rigid stables on the back head, and quite simply, the cab was in the way for us to do that. So we went ahead and removed the cab so that we could get those repairs started. The good news is that this is not an overly expensive or time-consuming repair. We've already removed the cab, as you can see, all the appliances on the back head that we've needed to, and all the fire brick on the inside that we've needed to. So we should be able to get this repair done in a fairly short order and have the locomotive ready to steam up again in the near future. Well, we're here with the cab as it's been removed, and the other advantage of taking it off is it makes all the metal work and restoration that we need to do to it that much easier. Here in the front, you can see that we've already removed the front windows to rebuild them and put new tempered glass in there. Looking down here at the bottom corner of the cab, this was removed years ago when we were placing the side sheet so we could remount all the stay bolt holes. So now that that process is obviously complete, we're able to put this corner back in place in the near future so we can restore that appearance. Coming back here to the rear of the cab, you can see up here that these back corners were cut during the locomotive's previous ownership. So now that the cab is removed, it's much easier for us to get access to those and repair them to look as they originally did. Back in March, you came in at the last minute to raise $4,500 for us to complete the steam test in April. We want to thank you very much for doing that because what we want to show to you is that when you donate to American Steam Railroad, you will see tangible results on a tangible timeline. As promised, we completed two successful steam tests in April. And now we want you to step up and join us for the next part of this journey as we get ready for the next steam test and all the milestones after that. So please keep up your generosity. And one new way that you can do that is through our newest program, which is a benefit excursion with the Cincinnati Scenic Railway's Ohio Rail Experience. We're pleased to offer 50 fundraiser tickets aboard the Spirit of Urbana on June 14th, running from Washington Courthouse to Urbana, Ohio. If you're looking for a great Father's Day gift, a great day out, or just a great way to support the American Steam Railroad, we hope that you'll consider this one and get your tickets while they last. As always, we want to thank our donors, volunteers, contractors, and our hosts at the Midwest Railway Preservation Society. And before you go, we want to let you know that we have an all new redesigned website that we hope that you'll check out to find all the ways that you can contribute and donate at AmericanSteamRailroad.org.